Hello, fellow poetry people. Uh, today, In the Desert by Stephen Crane. In the desert, I saw a creature, naked, bestial, who, squatting upon the ground, held his heart in his hands and ate of it. I said, is it good, friend? It is bitter, bitter, he answered, but I like it because it is bitter and because it is my heart. So yes, in the desert, uh, variously, uh, I think it in 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 uh, the school bag, which is where I first ran upon it, uh, it was written in eighteen ninety six. I think I've seen other dates of like you know a little bit a little bit earlier, but we'll go with that. Uh, Stephen Crane uh, is a fellow who was born in eighteen seventy one, died in nineteen hundred. A American poet, novelist, short story writer, best known for the red bag, red bag, red badge of courage, uh, an American Civil War novel, uh, which uh, I mostly know because of the little fact of, oh, he never actually was a uh, soldier, a combatant in the war, but uh, has ri written what has kind of gets reputed as one of the great uh, Civil War, American Civil War novels. He died of tuberculosis at the age of 28. So yeah, let's get, get into the poem of In the Desert. Um, so yes, In the Desert, which, uh, especially as we go through the poem, In the Desert uh, brings up to me, and I think you'll get this I, sense in, get the sense of in this poem of with the Western Christian th thoughts, it's Jesus in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights and being tempted by the devil. And it does seem perhaps there is a temptation going on here. I saw a creature, naked, bestial. So we're starting out with just it's like it's almost like it's a fantastical sight of this naked bestial creature who is squatting upon the ground which um i love the thing of a of how a poem moves and because we go from a creature to held his heart in his hands i'll stick that little he's got a lot there's definitely alliterations going on here but we've gone from a creature to a he which is like at first, I saw this creature, which was naked and bestial, like it wasn't human, or it wasn't something recognizably human. Uh, but then we go to he, and then we're going to actually have that that kind of, we're going to have that travel, because we go from a creature to a he to friend. He call he calls this this creature, this person, this this male, Matt, Matt, he, uh, a friend, um, squatting upon the ground so that it really gives you kind of that gross like squatting it's like well how do you what do you do when you squat it's like yeah that's it's like a, a creature or you know someone who doesn't have a have have an outdoor uh outdoor uh, water closet would be squatting upon the ground but he's not doing that he's he held his heart in his hands which is almost a kind of a posture of i'm holding my heart in my hands which in, in like a metaphorical sense it's almost like it's a it's a it's a sense of, of grief or sorrow of, or of almost vulnerability, except, except this, this, I think this poem is great at its kind of surprises and because he held his heart in his hand, line break and ate of it. It's like, holy crap. It's like, it's a, it, like, oh, it's like a creature naked and bestial in the desert and he's holding his heart in his hands. And, you know, it's got like kind of, it's a sorrowful thing and he ate of it. It's like, the dramatic turns in this just such a short little thing and this um just just it, it's it's quite it, it makes this poem quite striking quite actually modern feeling to me of you know he an eight of it which is like it's almost you get like <sighs> crunch it's like that we're back to we're back to that kind of um creature like uh the 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 animal side like the this animal side again and it's like i, I really have forgive all you squeamish people out out there but i have this thing of him biting in and it's squirting blood and there being blood dripping down it's like it's it's a it's a horrific hellish even scene of of that we're seeing here uh in the literal sense but um and as i'm gonna kind of i'll probably circle back is like it's also um just the idea of eat your eat one's heart out uh, is is the other thing that's conjured there and the various um, readings you might get of that. But let's quickly just let me get me let me try and get myself through the entire poem. And then and we get from this like kind of a naked bestial horrific sign scene to 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 the, the the speaker of this poem, the next like actually I think this is even more surprising than the creature actually eating his heart is like is the speaker going, 
is it good, friend? It's like, how are we supposed to take that? I mean, it's like, do you come up and go, hmm, is, is, is that good eats? Uh, does that taste good? Is that yummy? Um, uh, is, is like, is, is that meant as sarcasm or is like, Oh, I, I would like to do that. There's, there's almost, uh, as we go along of like the idea of temptation, it's like, Oh, that, that, that looks delicious. And it's like, and you're kind of like, well, why would that look delicious? Why would that be something that you would go, is that good? It's like, mm, can I try some? It's like, Oh, it's like that, the, 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 that, that, that friend there, um, I think of the, of the poem that that's the point where it that, that bothers me that that makes me come back to this poem it's like is it good friend um and you know and and he and he answers it's like you know it is bitter bitter he answered it's like it's a bitter heart which i think we get into the idea of you know having you know eating one's heart out of 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 you know the the, the, the you know the having uh, to have their heart at the core of their being, being, being eaten out with a desire, with a bitterness or pain. That's one of the kind of, kind of general definitions of when I was like, okay, what does it mean? What does it usually understood to mean by eating one's heart out? And it's like eating one's heart out with like bitterness. It's like your self consumption. Uh, and he's like, but I like it because it is bitter and because it is my heart. And I love those bees that I like it. It is bitter. Bitter, he applied, he answered, but I like it because it is bitter and because it is my heart. That's like, there's almost that, bah, bah. it's like spitting spitefulness uh, reflected in the language of the poetry, which you get this, like, this is a bitter, bitter creature who's like, bah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's it, that, 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 that sort of, that sort of idea of there's this bitterness. There's also the idea of like, um, I think I was, cause I looked at etymologies online. It was like kind of the, the eat one's heart out is like, it's 16th century is to suffer in silence from anguish or grief because of a bitterness can be, a, that can be from a grief and can be from a, um, you know, it's to eat one's heart out is to sit and stew in within yourself and, and, and turn your turn turn what anger or whatever anger and grief in on yourselves, um, and you know at the end and it's like I like it because it is bitter and because it is my heart and there's there's a part of it which is like you know I enjoy that emotion I I it's like it's an emotion and I I enjoy it I like it I like it because it is bitter and I like it because it is my heart there's this there's this um it's a it's a it's a little just little psychological portrait of a kind of an attitude of a danger of life of becoming hooked on your sadness your anger your self self-loathing and just turning in on yourself and eating it and living off of that and that being that being the um that being the that i think is what is if we're going to talk about a temptation in this book it's a speaker going is it is a good friend and it's like friend it's like we have a common connection this is this is a naked, this is a be creature naked and bestial, but it's also a friend. It's also a part of a, a part of oneself. Like this is like an internal struggle for this speaker in the desert uh, of like, you know, am I going to turn inward into bitterness? Like maybe whatever grief or sorrow, I'm just going to turn inward and I'm just going to take out my heart and I'm just going to eat it and I'm going to live on that and I'm going to get hooked on it because I like it. Um... So yeah, that is my, that's, that's, that's where I've, I've, I've kind of gone to in, in, in the desert. Uh, it's one of these like little, um, simple poems. I'm, I'm curious if, if, if it's something that gets, um, what, what, uh, what other people have made of it. I, I kind of made a point of just trying to like, uh, just to s dwell with it myself. Uh, I, I've, I've been finding kind of like memorizing, just memorizing these poems, uh, is a great way of just kind of running things over in my head over and over again. And like, and then, and when I stumble over word choices, I find that I'm like, Oh, well, why did, why did the poem like, you know, choose friend in this or, you know, uh, you know, a creature going from a creature to his to friend, you know, and that little dialogue there, it's, it's, it's like, uh, it's amazing how, how much you can compact in to such a tiny spot. So yes, those are my, that's, that, those are my, uh, thoughts and my uh, sharing of, uh, in the desert by Stephen Crane. More videos later.